Okay, so if you're doing a mini split installation as a homeowner or do yourselfer, you want to make sure you get yourself a good vacuum pump. And what you want to do is make sure that it's got plenty of oil in there when you first set it up. And you want to do your connections kind of like the way you see them now. So I'm going to take a step back here and give you some give you a better panoramic view here so if you want to go ahead and screenshot this video you can right there because that's the way you want your connections to be and basically your pump is going to connect to the middle here your blue line is connected to the condensing unit you want to make sure you have this adapter these adapters are important especially on the mini splits and you want to have this open when your pump is running, negative 30 is where you see it there. I'm going to run the pump for about 15 minutes. And so far, so far it's been running for almost 4 minutes. So we're going to let it run for about 15 minutes. Then we're going to keep an eye on the gauge and make sure that the needle does not move from where it's at. And once you achieve that, then you know your lines are good to go and you can release the refrigerant into the system and we'll show you how to do that as well okay so once you have your pump running for a good solid 15 minutes and what you're going to do is you're going to shut off your valve here so you're going to close it off remember righty tighty so you're going to close it then after you close it, you're going to go ahead and turn off your pump. Once the pump is off and the valve is closed, you're going to monitor that and make sure that it does not move. If it does not move, that means your lines, your refrigerant lines, your copper lines that you've already closed up and put your nylog on, that means that they're going to be airtight and then you can release the refrigerant into the system. Okay, so if you look closely there, hasn't moved. About 12 minutes have gone by now. As long as you don't see it moving at all, your, your lines are going to be airtight. You're not going to have any leaks. And actually, we're about 14 minutes at the moment. So then what you do after that, and your connections are going to be the same, you can actually disconnect this once the pump is off anyway, but what you do next is you go here and on your skinny line, you're just going to release the refrigerant into the system. You're going to hear the refrigerant moving in there. The idea to have one of these Allen wrenches around. Once that's done, you're good to go. Your refrigerant has now been released into the system. You want to go ahead and tighten these with an adjustable wrench. And then we're going to go ahead and run the unit. 